Hello everyone, welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 video editing tutorial. In this lesson, we'll learn how to edit 4K videos on a 1080p project. I'll launch Final Cut Pro 10 on my Mac. Okay, Final Cut Pro has started up. So, what's next? Okay, let me close the previous library over there. And now I'll need to make a new library. So I'll go to File menu, New Library. Okay, I will save it into my external hard disk. And then I'll create a new folder. I will call that Editing 4K folder. Let's do that. And I will call this library Editing 4K library. Okay, I'm done. All right, next, I'm going to name my event as 4K footage. Events act as a folder to store all your video files. So I will click on my import media icon and then I'll go to my memory card here. Where does a Sony camcorder store all your 4K videos? You'll go to your private folder over here open that up open up your mp4 root and then open up the clip folder and there you go that's all your footage for this tutorial i will choose this uh, last clip over here okay i'll import that clip now i don't want to leave the files in place i want to copy it to my library because if i leave it in place it will still remain in my memory card so i'll just click copy to library i click import you'll need to find out if your computer can play back 4K footage smoothly. Now let's have a look. Okay, movement seems to be fine. The video seems to be playing back quite smoothly. So if your computer is a little bit slower, your processor can't really handle 4K, there is still an option for you. You can right click on your, the clip over here and you choose transcode media. What transcode media does is it will help you create an optimized media, which is to make it become an Apple ProRes file really large but that's not what we want right now you can choose create proxy media it will create a really low resolution file but it's still quite good looking for presentation so that your computer can play it back smoothly so we'll do that we'll click ok if you look at my background task it's transcoding so it's creating a proxy file for my clip over here now let's wait for it to finish you can view proxy files by going to your viewer window over here and clicking on this little switch and checking out proxy. So when you click proxy, you will be able to play back your files in proxy mode, which means it's going to be low resolution, but it's going to be really smooth. So I'd like it to be back to optimize for this tutorial. Okay. The next stage is you're going to create a project. Now, this is a very important part of the lesson because over here, you have to make the crucial decision how you want to complete your video. What is your finishing format? What is your deliverable? Do your clients expect you to deliver the video in 4K? Meaning, you shot this in 4K, now do you have to send this out as a 4k file if for me over here and for most of our clients well they still prefer a 1080p file because it's easier on the computer to play back and i'm going to upload this to youtube so i'll just need a 1080p so by editing a huge 4k file in a small 1080p window or screen uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility i'll show you why later Okay, so 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second. So I'll click OK. So that's done. I've got my project over here and I will name it the Reluctant Donor. Before we progress any further, I'd like to say that um, I'll assume you already know how to use Final Cut Pro. Uh, at the basic level, but if you are facing problems and uh, you're not as proficient. I have a whole series of Final Cut Pro video tutorials, which I'll put a link on screen right now. You can have a look at those tutorials 
and once you get up to speed you can always come back and join this tutorial again okay let me open up my project and let's have a look at this video I have over here now let's play back okay this is a really interesting toy that I got from Japan it's very similar to the traditional uh, patient game um, you, it takes a lot of uh, hand-eye coordination and a bit of guts to play this toy because if you insert the organs wrong it'll give you a very big surprise I'll show you how later now I'm going to set my in point over here okay let me finish off with the liver and while we're inserting the lung so over here I'll set my in point and then I'll insert it into my timeline okay now I'm playing it back I'd like to brighten this image a little bit so I'll go to my inspector over here go to my video tab and go to my color correction I'd like to increase my exposure but before that let me bring out my scopes okay let me bring up a little bit of the highlights not too much actually that's a bit too high okay mid tones let's increase the mid tones make it a little bit brighter and the blacks bring down a bit of the blacks okay now I'll go and edit my saturation I'll give more saturation to the highlights and the mid tones and also the blacks now let's adjust a bit of the color for my highlights let's make it a little bit blue for my mid tones just give it a bit of warmth and for my blacks maybe a little bit of blue no okay over here maybe here okay maybe, maybe it's a little bit too red okay let's set it there okay so let's compare before and after now let's take away my color correction and you see how dark this image is I'll take away my scope and then when I show my color correction okay 4k is able to cram so much bit rate so much data into its image it gives you a lot of latitude meaning you can color correct your image you can brighten it without it um, breaking up so that's one of the plus points when comparing it to HD okay I'll play back there you go so now I'm inserting the rib cage now so let's just have a look and see what happens over here uh, it'll give you about three warnings you gotta be gentle with it that's the last warning oh that's a shocker try not to play this with the lights off at night okay as the rib cage is being inserted I'd like to show a little bit of drama over there so like in this case here as the rib cage is being inserted I'd like to show a close-up of this scene but this is the only angle I have I've not shot a close-up now uh, this is one of the most important features of editing 4k on a 1080p timeline and this is my favorite I can recompose reframe and rescale my videos and this is such a powerful feature for filmmakers I'll show you how all right so over here just before the lung is being inserted okay over here I will cut this part by pressing command B okay and then I'll select this clip and I will go all the way down to my special, special conform. conform and click on none and then you check out what happens next whoa awesome now this is the actual size of 4k video in a small 1080p window now let's play that back again saw that so it adds a little bit of tension a little bit of drama by going in for a close-up okay so what happened actually now let's have a look at the viewer and I will zoom out a little bit for you to have a look okay now I will select the clip and I will press the transform button over here did you see the size of 4k let me scale in a little bit this is your HD let me zoom out and that's 4k 
this is 4K so large that I can rescale my video okay now let's play it back lung has been inserted okay next I can cut this command B and I'll go back to my regular size um, I've already turned off my spatial conform to none so what I can do next is uh, to get this back to the actual HD size I scale this down by guess how much 50% see that so from the lung scale back to here and then the rib cage just after he throws up all his organs just after that I'm gonna do a zoom in so I will go over to my inspector tab I'll click on my position set a keyframe for my position and my scale okay I'll play it back and then I will scale it back up to 100 and look at that I don't see the face so what I can do is to click on my transform button again and I'll just recompose and reframe how much can I do well that's how much you know you've got so much space look at that you've got so much space to play with there you go okay I'm happy here so let's have a look let's play back and see how this looks like Okay, add some tension over here with a close-up and then you know we zoom back out to show the white shot okay so we let the drama unfold over here okay that's your final warning you gotta be just right now or else ah, and zoom in okay I'm going to show you how uh, I added the keyframes over here so let me just uh, zoom in a little bit for you to see so I've got the keyframes over here now if I were to move this closer these two keyframes let me move them closer okay and then I will play it back you know what I'll play it back from here okay and zoom in. can you imagine the powers you have as filmmakers right at your fingertips well, that's it for this lesson. My name is Baron. There will be an interactive menu coming up for you to select a lesson that you'd like to follow. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next episode.